Welcome to Alchemy Wizard. I'm Hermes. Now, I want to talk to you about colloidals. What exactly is a colloidal? Colloidals are naturally occurring nanoparticles in water. Now, a colloidal is normally created by a lightning strike. Lightning strikes the ground, or in reverse, uh, because it actually, the current actually goes upward. But anyway, when lightning strikes, the minerals go into the groundwater as, um, as what they call colloidal nanoparticles. Now, colloidal nanoparticles are large particles between 1 and 100 nanometers. Depending on the colloidal and how it's made. And because um, the other thing with the, these colloidal nanoparticles is they have no charge. And, you know, if you're a lay person, you don't really know what that means. It means they, there has nothing attractive about these colloidals. And that's good when you take them in the body. When you ingest a substance like a vitamin or something like that, you are ingesting a charged particle. And what happens is that charge is going to be attracted to the tissue in your body. And it could actually get stuck in the, in the body. And it does. I mean, with vitamins and minerals, uh, there's always the possibility that you could have too much of these things in your body. Colloidals don't have a charge, and they're much larger. And so when you drink a colloidal, uh, you have these nanoparticles floating through your system that are not attracted to anything in the body, so they don't get stuck in the body. So there's no way you're going to build up a uh, excess of these things. But the body knows how to handle it because... The body has been drinking these colloidals since we were walking on the planet. They occur naturally in spring water, in very high concentrations in spring water. City water, not so much because it's processed. Rain water to some degree, but not too much. Um, groundwater, uh, it, they'll be in groundwater. But basically where there's, there's high concentration of lightning strikes, uh, and naturally occurring water that's turning over quickly, like spring water, uh, you will have naturally occurring coils, which is why spring water is actually very good for you. So when we artificially make colloidals, uh, we put the colloidals into the water, which may not be there in the concentration that your body needs it. And your body knows what to do with these colloidals. It sees them and says, oh, I know exactly what to do with these colloidals. These are natural. This is, this is something I know about. And it immediately it grabs what it needs as these colloidals are flushing through your system. So if, it needs, if you're drinking an iron colloidal, this happens to be an iron colloidal here. If you're drinking an iron colloidal, it says, oh, I need that iron. I'm going to take that iron. And now you know what else? It doesn't have to process that iron. It, because it's a naturally occurring colloidal, it doesn't have a charge, your body instantaneously knows what to do with it and use it. It doesn't have to process it. With uh, like a pill form of iron, um, where you've got iron solids in the body, or whatever you're taking, calcium or magnesium, the body has to break that down through the digestive process. Not so with colloidals. Colloidals go into the water in your body, which are 99% water, and they flood through your system. And if there's a part of your body that needs that particular nutrient, it says, ooh, look, I can grab that. So that makes colloidals extremely good for the body. You can't overdose on colloidals because uh, they flushed out of your system in 48 hours. If your body doesn't need a nutrient, it just doesn't use it. But nine times out of ten, you're going to need that nutrient. Now, the colloidals come in various kinds of metals. Uh, gold, or platinum, zinc. These are not, uh, you know, these are not strangers to the body. I mean, if you look at any vitamin bottle, you're going to see a whole host of metals in there. Iron, zinc, you'll see chromium, nickel, uh, Molybdium, you'll see a whole bunch of different things 
you know, in that vitamin bottle. But those are all ionic substances, which you have to be very careful with the concentration you're taking. And like I said, the body has to break that down. So let's say you take, you know, a certain amount of uh, this mineral in an ionic form. You're going to, um, your body may have to discard 70 or 80 percent of that ionic material and only use 20 or 30 percent of that material. Well, that's quite a waste. And not to mention the rest of it just builds up in the body, it gets trapped in the tissues in the body. So, um, colloidals become very efficient in the body and you'll feel the difference right away. And each colloidal does something different. I could spend an hour talking about what each colloidal does, but, and colloidals don't last forever. Some last longer than others. Silver will last just about indefinitely. Uh, copper and zinc have a, have a, you know, may have a 90 day term on them or, you know, depending. So, uh, not all colloidals. If you're getting an old bottle of colloidal, I know people may say it's good for a year, but uh, my microscope here does not lie. Some last longer than others. So I try and ship colloidals out as fresh as possible so that you get the longest amount of uh, use out of them. Alchemy Wizard. Talk to you again soon.